In this video, we are going to explain surfacing and it is components in AutoCAD. So I will start with basic surface tools. Now go to surface tab and here you will see all the commands like loft, sweep, extrude, revolve, etc. So here we have this rectangle. Let's first start with extrude, select it and choose the object then press enter as you can see the rectangle is extruded on its sides and we don't have solid wall filled inside as in the case of normal solid primitive this is because the geometry is made out of surface command as indicated by the tooltip so when you click the object you will find some grips on the side and at the bottom by using these grips you can change the taper angle height or shape suppose if i try to pull out this top arrowhead in left side the geometry will be widened similarly if you want to increase the height of the geometry you can use this bottom arrow click and drag upward or you can as well modify the shape by clicking on one of its ends drag to your requirements so in this way you will be able to change the geometry of this surface using the grips now let's move on to the second geometry here we have this object and we are going to apply revolve command select the tool from this panel then choose the object and press enter now we need to specify the axis of revolution for that i will select this end point and second end point now our object is revolving about the axis and in this case we have hollow object when you check at command line it prompts you to specify angle of revolution for this i'm not going to enter full axis of rotation which is 360 instead i will enter 270 degrees so that we will be able to see the internal geometry as well type 270 and press enter now when you orbit it you can see a complete geometry which has hollow inside it in similar way we can apply different tools in surface command to the objects for example here we have this pentagon with five sides which is connected to polyline let's convert this polyline into spline fit to get rid of sharp edges now we are going to apply sweep command select it and choose this geometry then press enter now we need to specify the sweep path but before that let's twist this object so i will select twist then i'm going to specify the angle of twist which in this case is 270 degrees now select sweep path so here we have twisted geometry which is made of twisted surface and the angle is rotated or twisted to an angle of 270 degree from starting to the end point so it is completely similar to sweep command of 3d solid now let's move on to the next command which is loft for loft we have three geometries which are made in three parallel planes in our first module loft chapter i explain how to make geometries in different parallel planes go through them so let's start with the loft initiate the tool select first object then second object and third object when you combine all these three geometries a new shape geometry will be made now if i change the loft in order the geometry also changes let's try select the command and choose the lofting order from this side then second one and third object then press enter as you can see different shape comes up so in this way we can 
use these surface tools to create the basic shape so this was all about in this chapter